Hi everybody, so I'm going to show you how to set up a HUD and helmet mounted display in War Thunder in VR. So uh, until native VR support is added to uh, the War Thunder real time information app, uh, you need to download OVR Toolkit. Let's go ahead and type this in here OVR Toolkit. I've already been using this a while. <clears throat> this is what I'm using right now. I'll show you all my desktop view. Okay, so yeah, it's not free, but it's, in my opinion, it's completely worth it. Uh, because you can add um, more than just your HUD and War Thunder. Like if you want to add like your Twitch stream or your Discord or have it in a window on your lap. Uh, or you can also use this app, which is called uh, A PowerSoft iPhone Recorder. So you can connect your phone and or iPad and use that like a kneeboard in your lap. Uh, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. So go ahead and install it. Uh, you can set it up to go to CVR settings. start up and shut down. Uh, you can actually set it up to start with uh, Steam VR. So like when you start up War Thunder and you select VR in mode, it'll you could play, it'll start Steam VR and it'll start OVR toolkit once the Steam VR starts. Close out these. So you've got that downloaded and installed. Now we need to go to our web browser, and I'll post a link to the OVR toolkit or and the uh, War Thunder real time information. But you could just Google it, War Thunder real time information. Now you're at the web page. Go to download. And my computer does not like 1.6.1 for some reason, so uh, I prefer using version 1.6. And go to uh, right-click, save link as. Uh, I prefer to save it not on my desktop, but uh, on my uh, extra drive here, my solid state. Okay, and then I'll open the folder, go to D drive, go to uh, open, and then I'm going to uh, copy this folder, I'm going to come here to my D drive. I'm going to go new folder, and I'll just name it whatever, War Thunder Real-Time Information, let's name 1.6, and then paste this here. Okay, um, so you're for the first time you open it, you're going to... Windows protected your PC. Okay, that's fine. Run anyway, because it's not uh, signed. Uh, then just save anything. Um, except not with that in the file name. And that generates this profiles uh, folder. Okay, so we can go ahead and close this. We don't need it right now. Okay, so we go here to the link to the file. I'm going to download. Uh, we just save the file. Okay, and then we're going to take WTRTI and default HUD. And 
we're going to copy them, or rather extract them, and replace any files in the destination. So the next time, close this out, close my browser. So we can open our WT RTI again. And there's the HUD I have set up already. Okay. So if you the first thing you want to do is uh, get OVR. So we'll get started. And then uh, get inside War Thunder. Go to a test flight. Double press uh, A on the controllers if you have like an X controllers like me to bring up the edit menu. So next, what you're gonna do is uh, select spawn new window and the first one that is going to come up is your desktop. I don't want that so let's Hi, select this gear icon We're on course, on time and, on and that automatically brings up the auto, uh, window settings. So go to switch window and look for War Thunder real-time information OSD. And chroma key turn on. Ta da! There it is. And then uh, go back to window settings. So let's make this smaller. Or we can click here or here. Um, we can adjust the opacity, which is just another way to adjust the transparency. Uh, we can adjust the curve of the window. Uh, for the frame rate for this window, turn it down all the way. And then enable eco mode so that when it's not selected, it draws even less um, performance. Uh, so you, you can uh, reach up and grip it and move it like that. Uh, or you can attach it to a controller, like so. And then place it where you want. Uh, if you want to use it as a helmet mounted display, you can set the, you can look at it and set the track device to your VR helmet. And then once you close the edit menu, that yellow box will, will go away. And once you turn off tracking, it'll just freeze in place. When I position the HUD, I like to have the uh, airspeed and altitude uh, level with my crosshairs. With the crosshairs in the center. Which, it doesn't look centered to you in uh, 2D world, but me in 3D world here, it looks like it's... Uh, in the center, and I can use the heading indicator to help line it up. And uh, if it's hard to read, you can make it larger, or you can bring it closer to your face. Close edit. And that's pretty much it. We have the uh, War Thunder real-time information developer is adding native VR support, so we won't need an OVR toolkit. And then that will have the the, uh, the ability to toggle between uh, helmet mounted and HUD with a, a, a key press. And you'll be able to position the HUD and HMD with um, the keyboard. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to go over uh, what everything means in the display in uh, part two.